Welcome to the NBS Show, episode number 332. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Joe Eater Dragon. Hello. Hey there, Jules. How are you doing? I am good today. Nice. That's good. That's good to hear. So, welcome back to the show. Oh, thank you for having me. You, you were on last week? No, uh, last two weeks, was it? No, I think two weeks ago, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a lot of things happened while um, you were away. Like, one of the few things that um, happened was... That Dubai thing. Oh yes, the Dubai thing. Yep. I have seen the videos. Yep. It's kind of cute, actually. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's kind of cute. I yeah. think it's kind of cute. So yeah, the Dubai thing happened. So yeah, uh, videos of it are online. Um, go watch it on the links below in the show notes and whatnot. And yeah, uh, there's still pictures. There's videos. Um, I've already predicted what was going to happen, and yes, it one of, it's one of those kids event thingy. So yeah, not my cup of tea. Also, it looks like it's in a mall kind of setting. So, or is it outdoors? I really it can't. It's in a mall. It's in a mall. Um, it's in a mall. Yeah, the setting looks similar to the one of the event we had. Uh, what was it again called? The uh, Friendship Express. One? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one that was held at the SS Two Mall, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Are you referring to that? Yep. Yep. Ah, that was back in what, 2005, 15, I think. 15 or 16, I think it was 16. No, 16. 16, because... 16. Uh, no, no. Um, yeah. Okay, no, I think a uh, bit of history here. You didn't, wasn't the C Ponycon in 2017? Yep. Then, the, then 2016 was the one we had at the mall in KL, the underground mall, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it was 2015. The SS2 mall was in 2015, where we had meals and... Uh, and so on. That was fun. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, pictures are there. We were wondering how it was going to look like. So, pictures are there now. So, we know how it looked like. There's kids, adults there. So, yay. Much fun for the families. Yeah, well, personally, I don't think... I think the uh, costumes were better than I than what I expected. Oh, yeah. That, that's true. I was, that's true. Thinking, I was actually thinking of something less... Less proportionate, <laughs> honestly. Oh, yeah. Hey, well, at least the Applejack here got a hat or a Stetson. So that's good. Uh, that's good. That's good. Oh, boys. But talking about the good stuff, let's head on to the next news. Well, that was a really awkward segue where we talk about the Dubai thing. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> it turned out quite well, actually. Well, given, given. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anywho, okay. uh, next news. Um, Watch Mojo or Miss Mojo in this scenario has their uh, the top yep, has their top ten list, and yeah, it, it seems that it's ponies again this time around. And oh, they have the top ten top ten MLP song video. Mm-hmm. Hmm. And if I'm not mistaken, they used to had a top ten list of uh, what you would call this, um, bronies something like that. Top ten bronies. Yep. I do not recall that actually. Hmm. I think Maybe that was around before, but that's besides, that's besides the point. That's besides the point. All right. Um. So this time their list is uh top ten My Little Pony Friendship is Magic songs, something like that. So yeah, there's a top ten list of songs and whatnot. And hey, um, we all like the hmm. pony songs, and here are the lists of the top ten songs, uh, going by. Um, lowest to highest and okay. say if you agree if this or not so number 10 is the cafeteria song from My Little Pony Equestria Girls like that one? Oh, you're asking me oh okay okay I uh, yeah the cafeteria song is a song that I do like mm-hmm. would you agree top uh, is number 10? Uh, honestly Sanzo there are so many songs I wouldn't dare put uh, say whether I put this on the top 10 but right now I would agree that it's on the list because I have a lot of songs I do like. Alright, alright. Uh, number nine is At The Gala. Uh, and I, I'm afraid there'll be some of your viewers who don't, will not like me for this, but no, I do not, I'm not a big fan of The Gala. Sorry. Really? This song was awesome. I, I like this song. This song was kind of upbeat and cheerful uh, no, and whatnot. Not, not, not for me. Not for me. But uh, I agree it's a good song. It's just not my favorite. Oh, okay. I, I agree that it's yeah. on the list. It's on the list. But what mm, makes this okay, song special? Personally, I say I don't agree it's on the list. Okay, mm-hmm. that's my, my point. Yeah, right, right. All right. Um, personally, for Next. me, I like this song because of a cover slash... No, a, a remix by uh, the Bronyville podcast way back when, when they were doing this. 
And instead of at the gala, it's with Magneto. Oh, Magneto. Go catch it. Oh, go catch it on the YouTube. Yeah. It's dumb and silly. Yeah, it's really yeah. fun. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll go look it up later. I'll go look it up later. So, number eight. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show. Um, My Little Pony, I do like Questra this. Girls, I do like Rainbow this. Rocks. Questra so- Girls song, right? Yep, Rainbow Rocks. Uh, yes, I do like this one. I actually do like the Battle of the Bands one. This is nice. Yep, this one's fun. This one is where they were in the cafeteria or when they were... No, no, no. This is, this is on the outside where the, the sirens had were on stage and ah, then the... yeah. The final, final. Six, the seven, if you want to include Sunset, they were on the hill behind it. Behind yeah, the group. Yeah. Behind the, the, the stadium. Yeah, that was a good part. I like this one. I like this one. This one's good. I agree with this, this one. This is the this. one where the song ended up with a giant uh, rainbow version of Celestia beaming down on, on the sirens. That was true, not bad. True. That's nice. So, uh, number seven is You Play Your Part, Season 4, My, My Little Pony, Friendship's Magic. This one I like. The, the, well, it could be because I'm probably, um, oh, I like Bias. So, yeah. But, yes, I like this song. Oh, this one's not bad. This one's not bad. Um, he, uh, Getting a chance to hear all the princesses sing. It's not bad. Oh, yes, that's true. That's true. Mm-hmm. So, number six. Number six is A True True Friend. Um, yes. Friendship is Magic true, true Season friend. 3 yeah. Again Maybe it's because It's Twilight Bias But yes I like the song as well This one is fun This one is fun I remember Hearing this for the first time When it got leaked And Me having goosebumps Oh okay yep. This song was leaked Before the show came out And Hearing this I had goosebumps Like wow This was so good Number 5 is Bats Season uh. 3 <laughs> Episode, yeah, season three of uh, Friendship's Magic. So, yeah, this sorry. one. Not, not the song I like, sorry. <laughs> I don't mind this song. This song is fun. Like, it plays that dynamic of Applejack um, playing the harsh tone music while uh, Fluttershy playing that soft melody style. style. Uh, I, I think in this case, I, I'm siding with, with uh, Fluttershy because um, I actually do not like the way the song was played out. Mm. But um, maybe a bit too harsh in my case. But it, it was a good song. I agree. It's just a but not on the list. Not, this. not for me. All right. So number four is apples to the core. <laughs> I like this, this one. Cute. This one's this fun. Is cute. <laughs> for apples forever. Apples together. Yeah, it's cute. It's really cute. I like, like this one. I, I I like the intro for this song when they play the banjo. Ding 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 ding. All ding, right. Ding. That that was a good one. That was a good start. Also, it's a very, very family song, so I actually, actually liked it. I actually quite liked it. Yep, yep. It's a really good one. It's a really good one. Number three is Winter Wrap-Up, season first one. Season, the very first season. This one this was good. This one, if it got first place, I didn't mind it because this song was the song that made the show say that we're not your regular Joe show where we have this tiny little puny kid show song. We, we can go to yeah. this level. Mm, that's true. Actually, this song did make me feel that so that they are breaking away from the nineteen eighties version of the of the My Little Pony, the first the first generation, uh, where the characters did not really have a good, um, uh, they didn't have they didn't have much of a character to begin with. Everyone was almost the same true, in a sense. True, true. Uh, so this one actually gave the it, it it showed that they were a lot more than their predecessors. So mm. it was a good song. I agree. Yep. Have you heard the the variation? The other uh, languages when they sung it, it's it's actually quite nice. Oh, that one. This is the one song where they sung where you listen to the uh, foreign language version of this song. It's actually quite nice. Uh, I haven't haven't, but I heard the uh, quote unquote album version where they remix it with a true true friend. Oh, I haven't heard that one. That one was mm. in um, something else. I look up. Yeah, that that's in the uh, one of the official My Little Pony albums. Uh, which one was it? If I can remember, give me a second. Okay, it's um from Friendship is Magic, uh, Volume Three, Song of Harmony, uh, Track Number Ten, True True Friend Winter Wrap Up, Ultimate Mashup. Okay, I'll probably go look it up. Yeah, you can check it out on the YouTube. I think it's available there officially from Hasbro. All right, all right. And number two on the list is This Day Aria. Mm, no, not a song I like. Really? Sorry. No. <laughs> Any reason? Maybe it's. Not- Itself, but maybe it's the it's the the pretext for what the song uh, uh, is trying to push, uh, the reason for the song itself. So mm, it was to be honest, that 
the two scene itself in that episode wasn't a, wasn't a favorite of mine. Maybe because I'm a little bit too goody goody lah. So mm, all right, I don't know. I like this song. This song was amazing yeah, when it came out. I don't know. I, I just like the song. It was really good. Okay. So, but no, not for me. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Okay. And last on the list, the well, before we go to the first one, let's go for honorable mentions. And honorable right. mentions are what my cutie mark is telling me. That's a good that's one. Cute, yeah, that's a good yeah, one. Yeah, that's cute. Um, and then we have Race This Barn, which is a good one. I like this oh. one. Wait, wait, wait. Not, did you say Race This Barn or Racist Barn? <laughs> race bro? This Barn, you. <laughs> Oh my god. The barn is not it's a black barn, no. <laughs> no. Okay, no, that was no. bad. I, yeah. I apologize. Okay, okay, so but yeah, raise this barn raise this barn. Yep. It's a good song. And then last one. It was the... also one of those this is also one of those uh Applejack <laughs> trying to redeem herself. It's yeah, it's actually quite cute. Mm-hmm. And last one on the list is Let's Have a Battle from the Dazzlings uh, Equestria Girls. Equestria Girls. Okay. I don't remember this one quite This sadly. one was the mm. song at the cafeteria. It's like um, welcome to the show. No, it's not welcome. Like, uh, no, no, um, what was it again? I forgot. Oh, one. I think I remember this one. This is the one where the, at the end of it, there was a, the, this is the first time you see the green mist, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay, okay. I think I know what song it is. Um, I'm impartial to it. It's both okay and alright. I like this song. Right I like this song. Okay, so the last on the list for number one spot for the top ten from Miss Mojo is the Smile Song. I I do like this song. This, I do like the song a lot. This yeah. song is one of those songs where it's gonna put a smile on your face no matter what. No matter what version I agree. I agree, I agree. <laughs> no matter what version you listen to, orchestral, hard rock metal, original, uh, dubstep remix, you're gonna have a good time. Alright, yeah, but I, I agree that this song is a good song. Right? And uh, being number one I can I can accept it of being up there. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah. Norman, mm. quick question then. Let's just let's push on with this with this um top 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 ten. What song would what song do you think it should have been up there? Uh, your personal pick if you had a choice if you had a choice of putting it songs up there. What would you put up there? Hmm. Like the I 10? don't really have a top ten list, but if I were to say songs that I want in the list, the top ten. Yep. I would say uh, Bab Seeds. Bab Seeds is a good one. Oh, Bab Seeds is good. <clears throat> yeah, it's not in there. So it's like... I, I like the Bab Seeds, the, the flow of the song. That's actually quite nice. Yeah. And then one of my other favorite is um, Final Pet. Oh. Oh, that one. Right, that is cute. Not a favorite of mine, but it's cute. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Just because of the dynamic between Fluttershy and Rainbow Dash. That's, that's why I like it. Hmm. <gasps> I mean, there's a lot of songs. Oh yeah, uh, the Super Speedy Cider Squeezy Six Thousand. I like that oh, one. That. that one's good. <laughs> no, I, I'm not a fan. It's a good song, but I'm not a fan. Yeah. What about you? Uh, what would you put in the list? Oh me, okay. I, I've got three as well, which I want to put in if if I could have a choice. Um, I actually like this one. Although I I noticed the, it's some people don't really like it, but I like when Spike was singing a changeling can change. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it, it's a song I do like. I th- I think it should be up there. That's interesting. Sorry, I, I I don't understand why people don't like it. But like like I said many times, what you like may not be what I like. What I like may not be what you like. So let's leave it at that. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, the second one I I would wish to put up. It's a very short song. I think it's about less than a <laughs> minute. Uh, it's um, oh why when uh, it's part of the season 4 I think the the was it season 3 or season 4 the magic issue the the, the, the magic episode magical mystery cure the magical mystery yeah that's the one uh, season 3 or season 4 let's see I, I got to find that's a way that's the one where Twilight gets the wings I think so it's I think season 4 season 3 that's uh, season 3, season three. so that one is okay. I got to find a way um, yeah I oh is it I got to find a way not oh why no uh, oh, she oh, does say I, oh why I, no, I, I have to find a way yep I've, I've got okay. to find a way. I've got to find a way. All right. Well, that's the song. The, the last one I, is also from that episode. Uh, it's um, Morning in Ponyville. Oh, Morning in Ponyville is good. That's a good one too. Yes. I love that one. So I really wish that of all the three songs that I mentioned, <gasps> the one, let's say, if I, had a, if I only could choose one to be on the top 10 list, mm-hmm. I would choose Morning in Ponyville. Oh, Morning in Ponyville. I like that one because it's a bit cheerful and it starts off with Oh, just awesomeness and then it ends on that dread, dread note yeah 
And that's not only uh, in song, also in episode where Twilight just got drenched. Hmm, a wet pony. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but yes, that one, that's the song I think at the moment, right now, I mean, I, I, I can't think of any others, but I like this song the, the personally my favorite. Mm-hmm. Right now. Pretty sure I can find another one if I, if I look. True, but true. Right now, true, true. it's Morning in Ponyville. So, here's the thing. I've mentioned to you before we recorded the show, I wanted to do a surprise. Um, oh, yes. And here's the thing. Yes. Notice that... I hope it's not mine. <laughs> no, notice that all of the song lists that we mentioned are right. mostly season four or below, except for your right. Changeling song, which is uh, season for, yeah. six. So here's the thing. I, for one, have noticed this trend in the music for um, Ponies, and most of the songs after season four are not memorable. Huh. Hmm. I'm trying real hard to think in my head what songs are awesome and okay there's a few songs in my head okay if i were to look at the list i can't remember some of it and it's like yeah, but, sorry? but if, you, if you were to ask what is the song you like after season four it's a bit hard to come to mind yeah but like say bats bats is a season four song i if i if we go back on the recording i thought i said season three so that's how bad it is wow okay yeah uh, we got what? Well, now, that you, now that you think about it, there is one song from the above season four. There is one song I do like, but it's it's a part three of a, of a, of a, of a, of the main song. I think um, this is the heartwarming Eve version of the uh, the, the pony version of a Christmas tale, mm-hmm. where uh, Twilight is telling the story of a Christmas of the Christmas tale version, uh, the, the pony version of a Christmas tale. Um, the the character is visited by three different spirits, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I like the song sung by the Luna character, where the uh, at the end of of the of Ponyville uh, of of Equestria. Yeah, but I, that version I like. But to me, I find that there as a easy way out such cheating because um, mm-hmm. that show or that episode specifically is a special in its own way because mm, you're... Yeah, it's, it's almost a musical in its own <clears throat> right. Yeah. So basically, it's a Christmas special. So you really don't... It's like, hey, this is a Christmas special. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I, I see where you're coming from. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Yeah, but to be honest, yes, I don't recall much songs from the... Um, uh, even the latest one, the, the season 8, there were quite a number of songs, but I don't remember much. Yeah, like, okay, there's only really? three songs for season 8. Uh, yeah, three songs for season eight specifically. <laughs> um, after we got what thirteen episodes, we only got three songs for three episodes. That's um, school days part one and two, and surf and or turf. So yeah, not much, not much. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So to me, I I don't know. I mean, I find the what you call this. Um, I I find the songs or the new pony songs to be less memorable. And I don't know, probably it's me not listening to the songs on a loop daily while grinding for XP in Overwatch. <laughs> That's just me, okay. probably. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. What are the three songs, actually? No, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to remember. Uh, uh, I'm on the wiki right now, so I'm cheating on this. And, um, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's see. You. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm terrible. <laughs> So anyway, um, the three songs are School of Friendship, the introduction song where Twilight is singing about the School of Friendship. Okay, I don't remember that at all. Yep. Wow. Yep. Um, and then um, episode two is Friendship Always Wins, where the students sing the song about, yay, school's back in session, and Amber says, okay, stop singing. Oh, wait, this is the one where the school, the 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 uh, equestrian ministry of education tried to <laughs> close down Twilight School, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the equestrian ministry of education. EAA. <laughs> uh, huh? EAA, that's EAA, what they call uh, um, equestrian education association, something like that. Wait, EAA, uh, uh, equestrian academics association or something like that. Something, something like that. that. You know what, since I brought it up, I need to know. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, EAA. Uh, EAA is Equestrian Educational Association. Uh, what else could it be? <laughs> uh, so, anywho, uh, last... I, I, it could be something else, but I'm not going to say it on, the, on your show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kind of rude. Yeah. So, anywho, um, last song uh, for season 8 was Your Heart is in Two Places. This one was where 
Uh, oh, this is the one where is uh, where <laughs> they, the hippogriffs will decide. They're trying to get the the one kid to decide which world he wants to live in, only to find out he could live in both. Yes, and also yeah, okay. Sweetie Belle and Scootaloo were fighting over places, and Scootaloo likes water because she can swim slash fly in it. Fly, yeah. yeah, fly underwater. <laughs> And Sweetie Belle just likes the land because she's a land dweller. Hmm. Yeah. So anywho, uh, we... so anywho, we spent a lot on this. So let's head on to the next uh, okay, news. Yes, <clears throat> next news is pay TV epic scoop up the My Little Pony movie. So for you guys at home who got no idea what I'm talking about, Epics is mm-hmm. a mm, pay to watch TV show, something similar to. Mm, Netflix. Netflix or something like that. I am not hundred percent sure. To us here locally in Malaysia, we have Astro. Um, we also have Hype TV. We also have what you call this? Iflix. Iflix. Yeah. So, yeah, it's one of those cases or scenarios. So, yay! And, the, and you're saying that they <coughs> they've taken up. They've actually got uh, the MLP movie on their package now. Yes, they have it there on their. Was, Is that what you're saying? Yep, yep. It's on their yeah. list of shows to watch, um, including shows like um, Daddy's Home 2, Star Trek Beyond, Arrival, Ooh. and many more. Uh, I wonder who actually has Epix. I don't know anyone who has Epix. I think it's an American thing or American service. Oh, okay. But here's the thing. Um, the show is also available on Amazon Video. So, yeah. Hmm. Hmm, okay. You know, so it's one of those cases where you could watch it there or you could watch it on Amazon or even better, you could buy the Blu-ray slash DVD. It's only $20 if I remember right. I wouldn't know. <laughs> if you guys have epics, please do describe how it is in the comments so mm. we know a bit more about the show because I'm curious. So, anywho, let's go for the last news on the list and... My Little Pony Season 8, Episode 14, possibly returning in August 4th. So, yay. I'm pretty sure we all wish it was sooner. <laughs> true. But yes, at least we're getting it back now. Oh, true, 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 true. But um, mm. I, I don't mind really because it's one of those cases where more more time to do something else and do oh, on catch up is much better. Mm. Mm. True. Uh, we get ponies in August. So the hiatus only lasted for about a month and a few days. Mm, when was the last? When was episode thirteen again? Episode uh, thir- last week, wasn't it? No, uh, two weeks ago. Let me double check on the wiki. Oh, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe the, the the hiatus was maybe one and a half months, two months. Probably not so bad. Not, 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 not so bad. bad. Like so, we didn't had that yeah. terrible hiatus where it was what three months. Oof. No new ponies for three months. How did we live? I don't know. <laughs> Um, August 9th was the last one. Eh, August 9th? Sorry, um, June 9th was the last June 9th. episode. Was, oh, yeah, June, 9th. June 9th. So, oh, that's two months then. Just, just a little under two months. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah, much awesomeness. I wonder what's going to happen next. <laughs> uh, there's a spoiler list on... Not really spoiler list. Um, there's the synopsis on EQD if you want to go check it out. I don't want to go okay. check it out because I want to be clean going in. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but I'll tell you this: season eight is full of spoilers because um, there was that leak that came out in season eight that was, wow, what the hell's going on? Like this leak was terrible, very, very terrible. Okay, in that case, I'm actually quite glad because I don't think I actually paid attention to the leaks. I was actually busy with something else at the time, but I didn't see it. Just as well. Yeah, good on you, man. No, honestly, I, I, I didn't even know there was a leak. Or, or, uh, no, no. Honestly, I knew there was a leak and I heard about it, but I didn't bother chasing after it. So I'm actually quite okay. Yeah, and looking at what they had leaked, it was only the first part of season eight. So it's not that bad. Like, well, technically it was bad. It was bad. You know what? I'm not going to even say anything more about it. So yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, so let's head into the, the other topic that I enjoy. And that is, what have we been doing with our week? So, Jules, what have you been doing with your week? It's been a while since you were on. Aside from uh, work, 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 I have been busy my time with a few of my friends 
where we get together and run RPG sessions together. Much awesomeness. Much awesomeness. Uh, except I'm no longer running it, so I've got the I've got the break. I've been running the previous session for o- over a year, and I'm tired. So now I'm letting somebody else run the the, the session. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> um, so how's that going? Uh, all right. If you don't mind a little geek talk on RPGs, my friends are now. My friend is running a Shadowrun Fifth Edition. Oh, okay. It is quite good actually, and my friend has a bad, uh, not not bad. My friend has a weird sense of humor, so <laughs> there's a lot of twists and turns in the storyline. Oh. But yes, it's a it's a good break away from the daily grind of going to work every Monday to Friday. You know, you feel like, Ugh, why do I need to go to work? But you need to earn the monies to survive. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yes, yeah, so uh, aside from work, I'm having my uh, a fun time on weekends with my friends gather together and run an RPG. Awesome, awesome. So mm-hmm. that's about it. I'm good. Yeah, that that's basically what my life is at the moment. Uh-huh, all right. Uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure somebody remembers the stories I used to write. I'm pretty sure somebody's asking why aren't you not writing anymore. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Doc, if he hears, if he's listening to this, he'll be bugging me to write. Ah, again. your fan girl, man. That one fan girl. Oh right, that's that one girl with that uh, back in two thousand and fifteen. Yeah. Yes, I mentioned the story and she said yes, I re- read it and I liked it. And I wonder where is she now? <laughs> yeah, she's waiting for you, dude. Oh uh, yeah, right. She's waiting anyway. constantly on filmfic, waiting for that thing to update and whatnot. <laughs> uh, technically, I finished the first uh, the, the first storyline. Now it's now it's like <clears throat> I finished the first I won't say chapter, the first arc. And I'm kind of stuck to, to how to push the second arc. Are but, you um, like berserk right now where you're on the ship kind of arc? Huh? What? What? Uh, no. What? Berserk. You don't know? No. Uh, what? The berserk anime? Yeah. I have not seen it. Or the manga. Whatever it is. Yeah. Still. No. No. Don't know. Okay. But personally, uh, what I'm saying is I finished the first arc. Um... And I do not know when I'm going to start this <laughs> up. Uh, we, all, we all have to wait. We all have to wait. Just, just out of curiosity, do you remember that girl's name or not? Uh, no, nah, man. She... Like, I, I didn't really... Uh, uh, sorry, I wasn't really involved in that discussion or um, conversation. All I remember, she was just as, she was just as flutter shy. That's all I know. Oh, man. I, sorry, man. Like, I wasn't in that conversation, so I really didn't really know. Yeah, actually, actually, we were just sitting there and listening to, to your talk, I think. Uh, so, that, that's the case. Yeah, then, nah, man. Like... <laughs> I'm away from that, but still, I would love. Oh well, yeah, you know, I would love to get a continuation of the story, like the continuation of what happened to the girl and you doing something about it. <laughs> I really, really think she was on the age at the time. No, what, what I mean back. was like I want to listen to her. Like, what happened to the story? Are you going to continue on? Like, I want to see the story of you continuing on the fanfic. I want to see the story of her reading the fanfic. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, uh, well, well, maybe if, if Doc bugs me enough, we'll, we'll, I'll start again. Uh, Don't ask him. To. I will. I will. <laughs> now I know. No. Now I know your kryptonite. I will. So anyway, um, no. <laughs> uh, what have we? What have I been doing with my week? Is, have, yeah. Yeah. What have you been up to, Norman? So let's see. Um, I was sick last week. After we had our conversation, um, my voice kind of died on me. It was well wow. documented on this show where the podcast we had. My voice was kind of going and <laughs> it kind of lasted for a week. And last week's episode where I was doing the show, I had to do it solo. And that episode only ran around uh, seven to eight minutes, was it? Total? So, yeah, you I can so. yeah, you, you, you can, yeah, you, you can tell how short it is because I was... <laughs> you, you, you just weren't feeling it. Yeah, I was trying. I was trying. But I had to do the show, so yeah. And then the next day, I had to do a review with Silver Quill... And yeah, um, I think the first episode for that one will be coming out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, um, the, 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 the mod thing. I'll think that will be coming out next week. Sorry, um, okay. the two next week. Or oh, for your Patreon supporters, it'll be out next week for you guys to listen. Um, it was pretty entertaining and my voice was kind of recovering. And now my voice is... Okay, it's okay, but I'm still having a bit of cough. So, um, you guys at home who wish me well or get me well, sorry, uh, wish well for me or... <laughs> I don't know the phrase. So, yeah, thank you so much. Um, I highly appreciate it. 
And what have I been doing with my week is um, Street Fighter V. They recently had an update where they added a new character. Um, character's name is Cody from Final Fight, and he was also in Street Fighter Alpha Three and also in Street Fighter Four. And I had I got a chance to play around with him, and I really really enjoy him. Like he is one of those characters where not many people understand him, but he's just awesome. Hmm. Well, sadly, I am not a Street Fighter player, but it's no harm in having <laughs> going to YouTube and have a look then. Oh yeah, you should. Like I oh, would. Oh dear. Yeah. Uh, but I would say if you want to see a video of the um, Cody um, highlight Action. or what you call it introduction, uh, mm-hmm. go look for yeah go look for it at the official Street Fighter page or YouTube, and you'll get to see his introduction video. I'm not gonna spoil it. Just go watch it, and if you're a wrestling guy, right, you totally right. get it. So oh <laughs> all right. Um, another thing that happened to me this week is um, Hero Twenty Eight for Overwatch came out. On the PTR, and oh my goodness, new hero for Overwatch is so cute. He is the most mm-hmm. cutest hero ever. Wait, wait, wait. Is this that? Is this the one that little death rat? Is it? It's the death hamster, Hammond. Hammond is out. Uh, a friend of mine, a friend of mine, posted on on Facebook something about Winston doesn't feel too bad creating a death, uh, death dealing rat. Uh, <laughs> I actually had no idea what he meant until now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, long story short, um, Overwatch has hero updates. They come out for free if you uh, purchase the game. Unlike certain games yeah, where you need to buy more updates. heroes. Mm-hmm. So, anywho, um, uh, Hero Twenty Eight was introduced a while back, or it was teased a while back, saying that oh, who is Hero Twenty Eight? Could it be a monkey? So, could Hyman be a monkey and whatnot? It's like all over the web. If you go check it out and whatnot. And they showed pictures of stuff and people did speculation videos. And then suddenly there's a ball coming on the screen and people did more speculation videos. And recently, they show who was the hero. And Hammond or Slash Wrecking Ball is a genetically enhanced hamster (laughs) who's riding in a big giant hamster ball with heavy machine guns. Oh, that sounds that, that that sounds awesome! Actually. I know, right? That sounds awesome. A hamster in a wrecking ball with machine guns. Yep. Yes, I, I like that idea. I know. So it it it's one of those cases where you have games like Counter Strike. Um, if you want mm-hmm. to go old school, you have Counter Strike one point six, and you have games like Call of Duty, and I think Saint Pinky would appreciate this if I say this, and like a Rainbow Six Siege. Yes. You have games like those. Um, First-person shooters who are very serious. And then you get games like Overwatch, where you get a time-looping or time-jumping girl who shoots dual pistols. Normal. And you get an edgelord who shoots double shotguns. Edgy. Then you get a big giant monkey, or in this case, a gorilla who has a Tesla cannon who shoots electrical bolts at you. And... Then you get a big giant hamster. What? <laughs> this game. I. This game. One of the things that I think the Overwatch crew had when they were building um, new heroes or concept for heroes is is this hero fun? Can we make it work? And is it fun? And in Hammond here, in Hero 28, this is what they mean by is it fun? I've played a bit of it's Hammond. Crazy. And yes, he is fun. He is one of those heroes. Like, oh, he is just awesome, my friend. Okay. Yep. I have Overwatch. I'll probably go and up, uh, go to in in game and at least have a look at it then. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do. I'm going to watch a few videos of it for just to get a grasp. Yeah. You, you, oh wow. <laughs> he is, okay. I, I'll describe a bit of Hammond right now. You know, I'm just calling him Hammond because I know his real name. Okay. And people are going to get so confused when they try to find Hammond in the game and they couldn't find him. Why? What's his name in the game? Breaking Ball. Let, let, let's, let's get that clear. Let's get that clear. When you when you go into Overwatch and you're looking for this character we're talking about, his name is... Wrecking Ball. Wrecking Ball. Yes. But okay, so that's his name. That's in-game, in-game uh, yeah. character name. Yeah. Sorry. In, in character... Sorry, in-game name is Wrecking Ball. But his name is Hammond. Because of, well, you know, if you follow the story of Overwatch, which is little, right. you'll get to know, okay, uh, he is uh, Subject 8 
from the Lunar Horizon. You know what? Oh man, I'm I'm geeking out. But long story short, his name is Hammond. He's an experiment. Yeah, and his Overwatch okay. name is Wrecking Ball, and he is a giant. I won't say giant. He's a cute hamster in a hamster ball who has machine guns. Oh wait, that means he's a little bit like Diva. Except that he the except that Diva ejects when uh, Max destroyed. Oh, okay. This one no, <laughs> um, Max destroyed. You're destroyed. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what's his? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next question. What's his role? Tank. Is he a support? Is he? Oh, okay. And well, here's that, the thing. That's kind of obvious. Never mind me asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but here's the thing. His role in the game is okay. When you think tank, you think like Diva, Orisa, mm-hmm. Reinhardt, Zarya, and so right. on. But just imagine Hammond has a mobility bonus by turning into a hamster ball and moving. And the mobility speed just, I think, increases by 20% or something like that. You move fast, but the caveat is you can shoot. But once you shoot your machine guns, it's a hit scan character. So basically what this means is uh, when you point and click the mouse button, it hits. Mm, okay, I may not understand that. Really. Okay, um, never mind. I'll I'll say this: when you play Orisa, she has a machine gun, right. or one hundred ammo count machine gun on her hand, right. and it doesn't really hit the opponent directly because it has to travel. Okay, so that's more of a projectile. While okay. hit scan heroes like Soldier, Reaper, and well, most of the cast who is a gun shoot guy are called hit scan heroes, okay. where you hover your cursor over a target and you click on it, it hits. Oh, oh so there's no delay time between uh, the barrel and the target. Yes. Okay. So okay. Hammond is a wow. Hammond is that kind of character where he's oh, a okay. hit scan hero. And on top of that, okay. he has this grappling hook where he can hook around, like he can um how do I put this? Tarzan around situations oh. and be a wrecking ball for his namesake. I, I like it already. <laughs> like, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to go on to his ultimate. Um, his ultimate is dropping mines. He's an area denial her- hero. Oh. Oh, his ultimate is drop mines. Yes. Okay. Multiple mines. So he is an aerial denial hero. And in games like Overwatch, where you need to capture the point, he uh-huh. is glorious. Okay. Because when you drop mines, people are not going to go in there. They want to shoot the mines first. So this gives you time to shoot the opponent back ah. and so on like mm. okay. I would suggest you go looking on the YouTube and watch people play a bit of Hammond okay. and yeah he's okay. just awesome like Hero 28 for Overwatch is Hammond the big giant hamster guy he's awesome I talk a lot about this I'm gonna stop it now yeah I'm gonna stop it now <laughs> so anywho <laughs> if you guys at home have any questions concerns or suggestions for the show you can do so at theambitionsgmail.com if you like to tweet the show the show's Twitter account is at show. For me personally, I'm at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about food, toys, or whatever tickles my fancy. And <laughs> Jules, what about you, man? Where can the good people find you? Uh, again, I have been <laughs> off the off the, the how do I put this off the grid uh, for a lot of my stuff. Right? So at the moment, if you guys are looking for me, you can still find some of my older works in, in film fiction under my name, Jewel Eater Dragon. But nothing new so far. So sorry. Yeah, like I told Norman, maybe one of these days I'll start again. But well, you know what? Not you know what? I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh. One of those days yes? when, if I were to go down and visit you, or you come and visit me, right. we should right. collab on a fanfic. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, just to let you, uh, Norman, mm-hmm. does does your does your uh, listeners not read this because this is not a <laughs> book? Uh, does do your listeners know exactly where you live? Um, well, they do They do know that I live in Malaysia, and I've told them multiple okay. times that I live in uh, Johor next to Singapore, but specifically okay. where? Nah, man. All right, never mind. The, the, the reason I mentioned it is because uh, here's the thing. In, you live at the uh, bottom tip of Johor, of Malaysia. I live somewhere in the middle of Malaysia, so we're a bit of a distance apart. Mm-hmm. If everything works out well, and this means nothing screws up my plans. Uh-huh. I might come and visit you in Johor somewhere at the end of July. Oh, maybe. Awesome. 
So right? that means we get to yeah. do this podcast face to face in person, live, and you know what? There's no difference except that you'll be in front of me, and there's no <laughs> delay. <laughs> oh, what a downer, Norman! There's no difference. All right, maybe I'll just be up here then. <laughs> no, man. no, don't come down. Don't come down. <laughs> All right. Again, if if everything works out well, then maybe in the next podcast uh, uh, that I that I join you in, we will be at your place. Yeah. Yeah, and probably we'll do something fun, like a fanfic thingy or something, something. Uh, mm, mm. That, 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 might, that might make me actually start writing again. We'll yeah. see, we'll see. All right, <laughs> so anywho, and also please subscribe and All rate right. us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and Stitcher Radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on com. Links are in the show notes. Also do subscribe to our Review and Discussion Podcast, available on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Over there, you'll get to catch me, Silver Quill, and, well, for now, it's just me and Silver Quill. Savvy has mentioned that with Summer going on, she had to take a summer job. And said summer uh. job has kind of put her in a situation where she couldn't be on the show. So for now, Sappy is going to take a short break until summer is over. And she goes back to college and, well, basically is, quote-unquote, free to do whatever she wants. So, yes, um, for now, Seppi is going to take her leave for a bit. But we do hope she comes back soon because, well, we want that feminine touch to the show to have that <laughs> uh, millennial point of view stuff. Yes. Very good. <laughs> Very good. And, well, what we review on the show is... Pony episodes, pony comics, pony movies. And sometimes we like to um, segue or detract from talking about ponies to other shows. One of the shows we like to review, or I personally like to talk about, and Silver Don't, is The Miracle City Bug. That show is just awesome. For you guys at home who knows about the show, you know why I like it, you know why you like it, and you know why Silver Don't. Uh, I think he's turning. I think he's turning. He's getting used to the show right now. We just need to get that zombie episode out soonish or later. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But other than that, um, besides talking about ladybugs, we also like to talk about or like to review shows like um, Batman. Last time we talked about Batman, we had uh, Matt Munchkin on and we talk about Batman the Killing Joke. So, yay, a lot of awesomeness about. So, anywho, if you'd like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. And talking about the thank yous, i like to thank Lurker Cat, Starstream, Master of Lag, Amy, Charles, Lucky Knight, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. You guys have been awesome. So, anywho, I have been Norman Sanzo. And this is Jewel Eater Dragon. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the show. See ya. Take care, everybody.